Hey, this is Firestarter, and welcome to another Let's Play series of Factorio. I obviously could not finish my last game because things got out of hand. I had set frequency at very high, uh, size very big, and richness very good on the enemy bases, and, um, well, if you watched all the way up to the last episode, you saw that performance was just, it was terrible. So I've done some testing, and I found that if I kept the frequency of the bases and normal um, a size that big richness at good and I had my starting area at big or very big I wasn't running into these performance issues my thinking on the starting area making that bigger is that if I'm not if the enemy bases aren't spawning near my base and I'm not seeing them then they're not rendering so, yeah, that's my thinking on that. So I'm going to make that starting area at big. Alright, let's go ahead and start the game. Alright, first things first. Let's go ahead and create our axe. Not bad. Bunch of copper, iron, coal right here. Some stone. This is not a bad starting area. I'm going to go ahead and chop some trees real quick. Get some fuel for my drills. That should be enough for now. So I generally start out with placing a burner drill right on the stone nodes first. I've watched other videos and most people seem to be placing them on the iron nodes first, but um, I don't know, I just like to get the, the, the stone that I need at the very beginning of the game. Yeah, everyone plays the game different, so I'm going to wait till I have about 25 30 stone. In the meantime, I'm going to keep chopping trees down and get fuel. I really like our starting area here. It's pretty nice. I missed grenades already. You know, I was tempted to bring the uh, the resource nodes, uh, the richness, or the size of the nodes down to make the game harder too, because that's what I'm going for. I'm actually tempted to restart and do that. I might do that in a future episode. Alright, this seems like plenty enough wood for now. How much stone do we have? 26. Alright, let's go ahead and pick that up. Then place our drill right on the iron node down here. Alright. There's fine. Alright, then we'll just wait until we have enough uh, iron plates to create more burner drills. In the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and keep chopping trees down. I like that I don't have a forest surrounding my whole starting area. It sucks having to chop these trees down it's just to make room. I know I'm going to need at least, what, two more chests. Now I will be trying to rush out electricity right away. And I need another furnace. I need nine plates for drill. There we go. Let's go ahead and place that on the copper. And that should work. Need more fuel. I 
I think I'll chop until I get, I don't know, at least 50 wood. So much iron near me. Okay. We should have more than enough iron plates to get... Let's say two more drills down. I want one on the stone and one on the coal. So do that. And I don't have enough stone. Oh, good thing I don't need to smelt the stone. Oops. I think I need five stone for a furnace. Yeah. One more stone. Actually, I didn't need another furnace. Just placing this right on top of the coal. Give you half. Okay. We need copper. We need one pump, at least one steam engine, a couple boilers. I like to start off with at least five boilers though, so that's three total, four. Come on, spit it out. There we go. Five boilers. Let's get some electric poles down. At least five inserters and as many transporter belts as we can get. Hmm. Yeah, we need to keep pumping out copper. Some more transporter belts? Okay. You know what? I might just set up my electricity. I'm thinking right here. I can always change it in the future. Let's go ahead and do this. I have a feeling I'm going to need this stone. Actually, I have plenty of stone. Okay. Actually, put those the wrong way. Move my transporter belts to number one. Hmm. I might just uh, use this coal node up here. Let me go ahead and grab some more fuel. of transporter belts. Let's go ahead and place that boiler or steam engine. Okay, that'll work for now. all the way down or should I go around the wall yeah I'm gonna go around I think I'm gonna use this area up here for uh, you know, copper processing and all that so I'm likely to bring it in from here Yeah, 
you know, do something like that. Almost. I still don't have enough belts. Oh no, Tin might be able to do it. Hopefully have that aligned. No, not enough. No fuel. Let's go ahead and replace that. There we go. Need 23 iron plates for an electric mining drill. Alright, that's all set up. And for right now, I'm going to put the wood inside my boilers. Okay, so we officially have electricity now. I just need to be able to use it. Two or three more, one more. There we go. So I'm going to start off by putting the electric drill over here. I'll do something like that'll work. Of course, I need more belts. Or I can just do that for right now. All right. And that'll work. I'm tempted to put another electric drill up there right now. Or just start off with my iron. Yeah, I'll just start off with the iron. I'm going to want two drills. And I'm almost there. Don't really need any more stone right now. Of course all this oil is in my way. But I have all these nodes up here. This is just perfect. This is... wow. The yield on here is 346%. This is absolutely the best start I've ever had, I think. Granted, I've only played three games. I want to get research going right away, and that's going to take a lot of copper. You know, I should have left this drill over here. pick up a couple coal and chop it in there to get things going. One more. Okay. So I'm still going to need a lot of iron plates. I need some more transporter belts and inserters. Let's go ahead and get that going right now. Pick up some more copper. some fuel. I know I'm going to run out over there pretty soon with the uh, the iron mining. Some belts and I should be good to go uh, with iron processing and all that. So let me go ahead and 
bring some power down here. Do something like this. Okay. I'll start off with two drills. Bring you guys out here. Hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't think I had any more iron on me. Inserters. And power, and we should be good to go. Yeah, there we go. We need fuel. I do have 26 coal. How is our one engine doing? We're using half the available performance right now. No, no, right off the bat, let's just go get automation. I want, well, do I want to go uh, logistics instead for the splitter? And I think I do. Okay. Let's go ahead and pump out a couple more stone furnaces and you know what? Let's get another drill going. Let's get things started with a couple logs. I'm going to go ahead and steal from this feed up here. That should work. Okay. Let's get a lab. And we do need uh, 20 to start with. Let's make 15 now. Let's go ahead and find some fuel for you. Okay, there's our science lab. I'm just going to toss it right over here for now. Okay, that's 20 beakers queued up or whatever. And I'm going to need 10 more for my long-handed inserters and the automation. I might just go ahead and build another uh, lab here. I might not have the power to do all this though right away. Cutting it pretty close. So let's go ahead and queue up a steam engine as soon as we get the iron. All right, one steam engine, and then 10 more science beakers, and we should be good to go. That should set us up for a while. I'm out of iron or uh, belts rather, so let's just go ahead and queue them up. We know we're going to need them. Fuel. Let's just go ahead and toss the rest of that in there. We will need the stone. 
I would say, within another 30 minutes of gameplay. Okay, we just built enough beakers to complete logistics. And I'm working on the second science lab, just to speed things along here. And I might as well queue up another two mining drills. I'm going to need to put at least one more over here to keep up with the uh, coal demand here shortly. In fact, let's go ahead and place this steam engine now. Okay. Our second science lab. Dropping some beakers. I really enjoyed the uh, beginning of the game. It's pretty fun to me. Might as well build another iron axe. Mine's about to break. Oops. Yeah. Just put half of that in there. Alright. Coal. Let's go ahead and put you facing down. You too. That'll work. Actually, that's not facing down. There we go. Logistics is almost done. I have a feeling I might need uh, some more red beakers here. Let's go ahead and queue up. I was going to say let's queue up five more. Let's go ahead and go with automation. Alright. Three splitters. A lot of transporter belts. We're going to need uh, some inserters as well. Probably underground belts at some point. So I think I'm going to take the splitter right here. Out of belts already. Sweet, we have automation. I'm not going to need turrets now, I don't think, since I made the uh, starting area a little bit bigger. Don't need logistics too. Electronics is nice, but I don't necessarily need it right now. I'm going to go with armor crafting just in case. It's at least five long-handed inserters going right now. Tons of belts. I might have to split it again over here if I plan on doing my copper processing right here. Yeah, I know I'm going to need it, so might as well just prepare for that right now. Hmm. I can actually get away with bringing that a little bit closer. And 
something like this will work. Okay. This is where the long-handed inserters come into play. Actually, no, I don't need them. I should... I was thinking about putting the two belts next to each other. And I'm still considering that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because if I need room, I'm going to expand the operations north instead of keeping it going east to west. That'll work. And that should start feeding it coal whenever it needs it. Okay, let's go ahead and get a couple more drills out, some more furnaces, of course transporter, transporter belts, a few more long-headed inserters, the rest of that will go into regular inserters. How are we doing with power? Not bad. Okay. Maybe I should consider using a different copper field. <laughs> yeah, maybe this one up here. Yeah, let's go ahead and use this one. So I can probably just remove that inserter down there. Let's go ahead and do something like this. We'll bring them out on the east side and do I want to bring them down or yeah I'll bring them down and then over this is all probably going to change anyway need wood okay Tons of oil here. This is just a crazy good start. And very shortly I should uh, have automated uh, research going. As soon as I get my copper stuff. My copper operations. Alright, let's do this. There we go. So that should be powered. Let's go ahead and bring coal up here. I can get rid of this splitter. And move it right up here. Right here should be fine. No, right here. Need more belts. Awesome. Can't wait to get all this uh, automated. It's gonna be so nice. 
Okay, now we can start powering our drills. That'll work. Let's hurry up and get our inserters going. They are all powered. Long-handed inserters as well. We're set up. Everything looks good. Alright, I'm going to end my session here. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.